Um, we're here tonight at 6.06 .06 in the evening here at 790 Homestead Boulevard, Homestead, Florida. And we are now going to uh, call the Wednesday uh, CRA uh, board meeting to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Board Member Fairclaw McCormick. Here. Board Member Maldonado, absent. Board Member Shelley. Here. Board Member Warman, absent. Board Member Williams. Here. Vice Chairman Burgess. Here. Chairman Bateman. Here. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, Delish, uh, first thing on the uh, item uh, agenda is uh, deletions or deferrals. Do we have any deletions or deferrals? Mr. CRA Director. Okay. No, sir. Thank you. Approval of the minutes is the next item. Move on. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. Questions or comments from Council? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nays? Item carries. New business, CRA uh, Enhancement Grant, Commercial Enhancement Grant, tab two. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the Council. Uh, staff recommends that the CRA Board approve the resolution authorizing the allocation of commercial enhancement grant monies to the following commercial enhancement grant applicant, KM Pedersen Enterprises, Inc., doing business as Homestead Tire and Auto Service Center. The grant is up to $25,000. On May 31, 2012, the Southwest Advisory Committee recommended the approval of one commercial facade grant application for up to $25,000. The applicant is KM Pedersen Enterprises, Inc., doing business as Homestead Tire and Auto Center. On October 11, 2011, the CRA Board passed Resolution CRA 2011-10-13, adopting guidelines for the disbursement of $300,000 in grants to local businesses for the improvement of facades of commercial buildings, the build-out of interior commercial spaces, and the relocation or expansion of businesses in the CRA. Thank you, sir. Motion to move it on? A little bit. Second? Okay, questions from Council. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Mr. Schaller. Are these matching grants? I don't remember. Are these? Uh, in this particular area, it's 90%. Uh, okay. Any further questions from Council? At this time, I'll open the public hearing. Questions from the public? Please come to the podium, state your name and address for the record. Hearing none, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Any final questions from Council? Madam Clerk? Call the roll. Board Member Shelley? Yes. Board Member Williams? Yes. Board Member Fairclaw McCormick? Yes. Vice Chairman Burgess? Yes. Chairman Bateman? Yes. The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Okay, tab three. Uh, residential landscape and grant disbursement. Staff recommends that the uh, CRA Board approve the resolution authorizing the allocation of residential landscaping grant monies to the following grant applications. Mr. James and Mrs. Elizabeth Brown, who reside at 530 Southwest 10th Avenue in Homestead. Mrs. Haiti Flemeister, who lives at uh, 1648 Southwest 7th Street in Homestead. Ms. Rufina Santoya, 825 Turner Circle, Homestead. Ms. Sean Bridgman, 1813 Turner Circle, Homestead, Florida. Ms. Sarah M. Wheeler, 803 Turner Circle, Homestead, Florida. Uh, all of the grants are up to $5,000. On May 31st, 2012, the Southwest Advisory Board unanimously recommended the approval of the above listed residential grants, landscaping grant applicants. The grant funds up to $5,000 in landscaping improvements. On May 17, 2010, the CRA Board approved Resolution CRA 2010-05-06, creating the Residential Landscaping Program. The 2011-2012 CRA budget allocates $75,000 to this program. Thank you, sir. Motion to move it on? Move it. Second? Second. Okay, questions from Council. Hearing none, if, I'll open what, the pup. Well, I just have one Please, question. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, maybe more of a, a technical procedure question. When these applicants apply for these landscape grants, I understand it's public record, mm -hmm. but we're publicizing an awful lot of public information. Someone can essentially open up an account or steal their identity on the amount of information that is published. So we really need to consider that or, or block out their driver's license and everything is here. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll change the the procedure when we when we bring these to the public meetings. Uh, what's important is to make sure that they meet all the requirements of the application. So in the future, we'll go out and make sure that that's taken care of. Right, especially in light of the identity theft. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Everything is here. Good. So yes, ma'am. Excellent point. Any further questions from council? 
I'll open the public hearing. Questions from the public on this landscape grant? Hearing none seen, then I'll close the public hearing. Final questions from council. Madam Clerk, call the roll. Board Member Fairclough McCormick? Yes. Vice Chairman Burgess? Yes. Board Member Shelley? Yes. Board Member Williams? Yes. Board Me uh, Chairman Bateman? Yes. The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Tab 4, uh, Seminole Theater Roof Repair. Uh, staff recommends that the CRA Board approve and award bid at 201225 for CRA Seminole Theater Roof Repair to the most responsive, responsible bidder, Tecta America South Florida. Inc. The roof repair is in accordance with the bid tabulation in Exhibit 2. This contract covers the repair of the Seminole Theater roof, mitigating water infiltration. The cost of the contract is $99,900. On April 3rd, 2012, the CRA Board approved the amended CRA budget, which included $200,000 designated for repairs to the Seminole Theater roof in the building improvement account. During the administrative review of the bid submittals, lowest bidder Globus Development's references were contacted. Main references were not, uh, could not confirm vendor as awardee on said projects. Recommendation has been made to award the bid to Tecta America South Florida as the most responsive and responsible bidder. Thank you, sir. Motion to move it on? Move it. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. Uh, questions from Council? Seminole Theater Roof Repair. Hearing none, Mr. I'll Mr. move. Yes, sir, please, just, Mr. Just the I see that we allocated with 200000 for the project, and it's only going to be about a, well, $99,000, yeah, about $100,000. So are we going to then reallocate the remaining monies, assuming there's no overruns or unexpected? Mm -hmm. at, at the end of the project, we'll, the funds that aren't used, at the end of the budget year, we'll uh, roll them over, and we'll, re we'll reallocate those in the following budget year. Okay. All right. Thank you. Quick question. A description of work, was, was that completely redo that roof or just spots? Well, there's six different sections to the roof itself I'm gonna and they've been done at different points of time and some need a little bit more mitigation than others. Uh, what this is going to guarantee is that there will be no more water infiltration. Um, each, each, like I said, it, it really depends on when that part of the roof was done. So each of the six sections have a slightly different scope. Okay, but all six sections, your answer to my question, are going to be looked at. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll open this to public hearing uh, to the public. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Any final questions from council? Madam Clerk? Board Member Shelley? Yes. Board Member Williams? Yes. Vice Chairman Burgess? Yes. Board Member Fairclough McCormick? Yes. Chairman Bateman? Yes. The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, tab 5, CRA demolition of multiple structures at various locations. Uh, staff recommends that the CRA board approve and award bid number 201237 for CRA demolition of multiple structures at various locations to the lowest responsible bidder BG Group LLC. The contract is not to exceed $37,335 to demolish buildings on specified lots within the CRA. The buildings to be demolished are located at 416 Northeast First Road and uh, 206 Northeast Second Road. On April 3rd, 2012, the CRA Board approved the amended CRA budget, which included $300,000 in funds designated for land improvements. Thank you. Motion to move it on? Move it. Thank you, sir. Okay, questions from Council? Mr. Rick. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Shelley, please. Um, I see here the current balance is 171,009 something. Is that is that what's left after we've, we've had a couple demolitions, or is there additional monies other than that left for, for more demolitions? Uh, we'd have to take out the 37335 from that number, and that gives the amount left for continuing demolition. Uh, when we discussed this uh, and it was approved, we did talk about how this could be an operating program where we're doing it on a yearly basis, but uh, we will continue. And my, it's my understanding that we'll continue uh, to do this even in the following budget years. We'll keep this money encumbered to do that. So, But we've already spent it over $100,000. Uh, this is the first time I think I remember seeing. Yes, the, we, we've already, we've gotten quotes on some properties that were less than $20,000 that didn't need to come to a full bid okay. uh, because of the cost. And we've already demolished one of the buildings and there are two more that are coming. And we also had to do surveys and do reviews of these buildings to just make sure that they, they were okay for us to demolish. So we did spend some money making sure that uh, everything was done correctly. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Any further questions from council? We'll open the public hearing. Questions from the public? 
Hearing none, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Final questions from Council. Madam Clerk, call the roll. Board Member Williams? Yes. Board Vice Chairman Virgin? Yes. Board Member Fairclough McCormick? Yes. Board Member Shelley? Yes. Chairman Bateman? Yes. The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, any reports? No, sir. Okay. Any questions from the public on this issue? Uh, okay. It, it's in reference to CRA? Okay. Well, state your name and address for the record, please. I'm sorry, that was an accident. That's okay. Oh. I love public comment. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name is Jana Sheeter, and I reside at 15755 Southwest 86th Avenue in Palmetto Bay. And I am here with the Animal Shelter Proposition Group with Gateway Animal Rescue. And I was just curious, in seeing that I don't, I don't know what's behind the demolition, but one of the things that we are considering is a shelter building. And before you demolish, I don't know if these, these buildings are being demolished because of you know, structural problems or whatever. They're, they're being demolished because they're unsafe structures. Shoot. So, what so we they can't be fixed. Yeah, well, we'll we, but you're, 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 your time's coming up. I, I, uh, okay. We're, okay. we're going to talk about it. Thank you very much. I went off of there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Motion to, motion to adjourn the CRA meeting. The motion to adjourn. Okay. Question in reference to the items we just discussed. Oh, yeah. I just want to find out if everybody's working for this company is going to have uh, oh. insurance. Well, is, oh, hold on. This is for CRA. Come on up to the podium. State your name and address for the record. And it, it's in reference to these items, correct, Michael? Correct. Okay, perfect. I've already been had once tonight. <laughs> My name is Mike Rice. I live in Homestead, just outside. Hey, Steve Mike. used to be my neighbor. Uh, oh, don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> my question is this. I had the okay to go ahead with the uh, jury center here to put up the fencing. Yes. I had to go through Don and Bradstreet and all that business. Yes. The guy called me and said, Michael, you can't do it because although I'm insured and covered, the people that were going to help me weren't insured in anything, just had liability. I just wanted to find out that everybody that works for this company, I'm sure it's a good company, is going to be covered for liability in case anything should happen to them. That's very important. Oh, yeah. I, can, I can actually speak to that, Please. Mr. Mayor. Uh, on some of the demolition buildings that, that weren't in this exact item, we've had to switch vendors because they couldn't do exactly what you said. Their, their subcontracts just did not have the appropriate insurance. So on all of these uh, big items, we make sure that they all have the appropriate insurance in that case of contracts. I wouldn't try to be a goody-goody, but they check me too. Oh. I'm not giving to anybody else. We, we, do, we do it every time, and when there's an issue, if they can't resolve it, we'll move on to the next vendor. Okay, fair enough. He's okay. Thank you. The Michael wasn't here. <laughs> okay, uh, again, a motion to, to adjourn. Okay, second. second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. All right, we're going to take uh, two, three minutes to reset the uh, tape.